Way back, way back in the 17th century, Blaise Pascal wrote that all of humanity's problems stem from our inability to sit quietly in a room alone. If Pascal is right, then we're in big trouble. Between our natural discomfort with silence and solitude and the myriad ways we've invented to avoid it, think gaming, streaming, and the device and social media on which you are listening to me right now, people today are rarely quiet and even more rarely alone. Almost every faith tradition teaches and science has proven that quiet contemplation and selective seclusion are good for the mind, body, and soul. Our brains need a break, especially when stress and social engagement are high. Yet with the expectations we carry for work and family and our lives and our culture's compulsive connectivity, silence and solitude are rare commodities. So how do we wade through the din of all of our distractions and make space for our spirits? Well, we can start by making space. Even a few minutes a day can make a difference. A little digital fasting, perhaps. Maybe some prayer and meditation. Maybe you can stop talking for 30 minutes or take a walk in the woods by yourself without your earbuds. And maybe you'll click on the sermon link below for more about how golden silence can be and why it is so important to practice. Beloved, I know how hard it is to stay centered and quiet at this time of year in particular, but I don't want you to miss what God is up to, for she is about to slip into the world anew again. So please join us this Sunday at 1030 for worship on site or online because everybody needs a little sanctuary and a quiet place to practice listening, pondering, and attending to the God who is whispering in your ear and sending you light and love for the world. See you soon.